I'd like to talk about the two forms that you can write an expression in when you're dealing with quadratics. Um, I have an area model here um, and it's just a rectangle, this big outside rectangle and thinking about finding the area of a rectangle helps us think about these two different forms. We know that when you find the area of a rectangle you multiply um, the length times the width gives you the area. So in this case the length is x and the width is x plus three more. So if I were going to um, well, one way I could do that is I could say, well, I'm going to add the x to the 3 and then multiply times the other x. Or I could say I'm going to break it up into pieces and I'm going to say, I'm just going to do this part right here and that would be x times x or x squared and then I'm going to do this part right here which would be 3 times x or 3x so that would be x squared plus 3x and I've written the area in two different ways okay they have labels one is expanded form and one is factored form and you can figure out which is which by remembering what factor means okay factors involves multiplication so this is two factors being multiplied together. An x is a factor, an x plus 3 is a factor, and they're being multiplied together. So that's my factored form. The other one is two things being added together, or the sum of two terms. It could also be the difference, meaning subtraction, of two terms, but because it is the sum or it could be the difference, then that makes it an expanded form, okay? Now, this is a term, and this is a term, and they are connected by addition. That's what makes them a term, okay? When you have multiplication, those are factors. This is a factor, and this is a factor.